Hi, my name is Masatoshi Kamei. I work for the Remote Sensing Technology Center of Japan, RESTEC. This lecture is designed for beginners who don't know about remote sensing but have interest in it. You will be able to understand what remote sensing is briefly and easily. This lecture consists of five components. All components include diagrams and images so that you can understand visibly and clearly. This is a definition of remote sensing. Remote sensing is to acquire the information about an object or phenomenon without making physical contact with object. You don't necessarily have to use satellite for remote sensing. You can use airplane, a drone, or even handled camera instead of satellite as a tool for remote sensing. You just need to keep a distance from the object and not touch it. That is remote sensing. Let us think about distance from an instrument to an object. If you have a handled camera, you would stand away from the object about 30 cm for someone's portrait and centimeter or more for landscape photo. If you have a drone, you can fly the drone up to some hundreds of meters. It depends on the capability of drone, and as mentioned in one of the catalogs, the highest altitude is 500 meters. Of course, you have to follow aviation law in each country. In Japan, you need permission from the government if the drone goes beyond 150 meters high. As for Earth observation satellite, they are flying at some hundreds of kilometers. Landsat is the first civil remote sensing satellite developed and launched by the United States. Landsat 1 was launched in 1972, and currently, Landsat 8, launched in 2013, is in operation. The altitude of Landsat series is approximately 700 km. It is quite high compared to drones. However, the satellites in geostationary orbit fly way higher than so-called Earth observation satellite. Himawari is a Japanese weather satellite operated by the Japan Meteorological Agency. The first Himawari was launched in 1977, and currently Himawari 7 and 8 are in operation, and 9 for backup. All geostationary orbit satellites fly approximately 36,000 km above the Earth. Now, let me show you the images taken by satellites from space. This is the image taken by Himawari 9 in January 2017. A very large area of Asia Pacific is covered by one image. The satellites observe one side of the whole Earth, but if you look at the edge, the area of the North Pole, the South Pole, the Indian Ocean, and the Eastern Pacific are distorted in this image, because the Earth is a spherical body the spatial resolution of this image is 500 meter, which means an area of 500 meter by 500 meter on the ground is displayed as one pixel on this image. You might have not heard of the term spatial resolution before. This is a very important term to learn about remote sensing. Here is the definition of spatial resolution. Spatial resolution is the size of the smallest feature that can be detected by a satellite sensor or displayed in a satellite image. For example, a spatial resolution of 500 meter means that one pixel represents an area 500 meter by 500 meter on the ground. If the number of spatial resolution is smaller, it means the image is more precise, and you can say its spatial resolution is high. 
currently the highest pixel resolution for commercial cellular image, which you can obtain on the market, is 30 cm. This image over Tokyo area is taken by the Sentinel-2 satellite, operated by the European Space Agency. Tokyo is one of the world's mega cities with a population of 13 million. Most of the area in this image is urban where the color is gray. The upper right of this image is the center of Tokyo and there is some vegetation on the left side of this image. You can see Tokyo Bay with many artificial islands on the lower right. The spatial resolution of this image is 10 meter, at which you can't recognize each building, street, nor car. But you can recognize rivers and big ships. This image is just a part of the full size image. The original image covers 290 km. Before showing next image, another term for better understanding remote sensing is source width. This is a definition. Source width is the width of a strip of the Earth's surface observed by satellite. For example, a source width of 290 km means that the area of 290 km width is observed at one shot. If the number of source width is bigger, it means that satellite can cover a wide area. This image over San Francisco area is taken by the Planet Scope satellite, operated by Planet, private American company. You might think this image looks very precise, or its coverage is relatively narrow. Source width of the satellite is approximately 15 km, and it can cover a limited area compared to the previous image. But its spatial resolution is quite high, it's 3 meter. On the left side of the image, you can see streets neatly dividing the town into sections like a grid, making a geometric pattern. And you can distinguish each building with its shadow in some sections. On the right side, you can see waves in San Francisco Bay several piers with a small boat on the coast, and San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge at the far right. With its clear shadow of the bridge, towers, and even wires, you would recognize that it is a suspension bridge. This is a satellite image of Tokyo International Airport in Japan. It was taken by the Kaz Eosat which is operated by the Republic of Kazakhstan and developed by Airbus Defense and Space, private European company. Its spatial resolution is 1 meter, while the source width is approximately 20 km. You can clearly see the shape of the airplane at the loading apron in the center of this image. You can also recognize the airport runaways, concourses, and cars as well. High spatial resolution image up to 30 cm is available at the market. There are spy satellites which have higher spatial resolution, but you will never see those images as they are confidential. Generally, spatial resolution is limited by low. In the case of Japan, the company which wants to use and provide high resolution satellite data need to get a license from the government. The United States also has a law to limit the spatial resolution of the satellite data, and currently, 30 cm is the highest which companies can provide to market. Simply speaking, given that a satellite carries the same sensor, if the distance between satellite and its target is short, in other words, if the altitude of a satellite is low, you can get higher spatial resolution data. Good example is a drone. Drones carry very small, simple cameras 
and get very high spatial resolution data. These aerial photos show the same image, but with different spatial resolution. At the left side, which shows a 1 meter and 50 centimeter resolution, you may be able to tell that images show cars being parked, but differentiating each one will be difficult. On the other hand, the characteristic of each car is much clearer for the 25 centimeter and 10 centimeter resolution on the right hand. As you can see, it is important that you select the right resolution that fit your purpose because there are various satellite images that serve different purposes. Generally, high resolution is preferred for purposes that require observing specific target, while low resolution will be preferred for purposes that require covering wide area or continuous monitoring because the data cost of low spatial resolution is lower or even free. This is an image taken by our drone. So you can change the altitude of the drone, its spatial resolution and source width are also changed flexibly and accordingly. The image is taken from approximately 20 meter high and the spatial resolution is 3 to 5 centimeter. The source width is approximately 20 meter, but you can mosaic the images. Shooting video is one of the advantages of drones. You can change the field of view both horizontally and vertically, even during shooting. You can of course change the altitude of drone. This video tells you that the lower altitude a drone flies, the higher spatial resolution image you can get. This is a summary of spatial resolution and swath width. Basically, spatial resolution and swath width are in trade-off relationship. If you need precise, very high spatial resolution data, the swath width will be narrow. If you put more emphasis on covering a wide area and grasping an overall situation, you should use wide source data. The important point is to select proper platform and sensors according to your purpose.